okay let's see what are the soil property so usually we can identify soil physical properties chemical properties and biological properties so on the physical properties so we consider soil texture soil structure soil color bulk density such and such and the chemical properties could be cation exchange capacity be the soil reaction which is ph um, electrical conductivity um, so we measure several chemical properties as well so what are biological properties so you know soil contain millions and millions of living creatures could be nematodes it could be bacteria could be fungi protozoans so various kinds of living creatures inside the soil so we consider this as the biological property of the soil so now let's consider these properties one by one how we're going to measure these properties and just let's go into a little detail of these um, properties soil color so this soil color usually is produced by the minerals present in the soil and also by the organic matter content so if the soil is more yellowish or red so that means that indicates that the the soil contains um, oxidized ions um, that are um, uh, in the soil and if it is dark brown or black in color so usually it indicates that the soil has high amount of organic matter so this measurement or the determination of color soil color we can use different reference charts and mostly people use Mansell soil color chart so today I'm going to tell you um, how to use this Mansell color chart to determine a soil color usually in here we consider three major elements which is called um, hue valid and chroma so hue so that talks about the color the basic color could be yellow red or green so it identifies the basic color as well as the in-between color like yellow red so it's like a in-between color so this hue um, usually values change um, the hue changes um, within the hue color chart it increase in 2.5 increments in the chart and hue becomes more yellow as the value increases now example if it is 2.5 yellow R compared to 5 yellow R the so 2.5 yellow R is less yellow than 5 uh, YR and then valley so the valley indicates the darkness of the color and it could vary from 0 to 10 0 means black and 10 means white so in between numbers it indicates different um, darkness levels and the chroma so it is indicating the colors intensity the vibrancy the strength of the color so if it is like a middle scale we can say the intensity the vibrance is the middle the zero it's no color maybe eight maybe an intense color likewise it has a scale and it gives the strength of the color so now let's see how we are going to measure the soil color using a Mansell color chart now for this purpose Actually, we need to select the soil and we need to make the uh, select the correct type of moisture level now this is the same soil and three different stages the first petri dish shows the dry soil the second one the middle one shows moist soil the third one shows very wet soil so usually you can see there's a color difference in these three plates so the first one is a bit lighter and the third one is a bit darker so 
in soil color determination, usually we need to use moist soil, not the dry soil, not the very wet soil. It is just the moist soil. So then we can express the soil color of the moist soil. Okay, let's see how actually we are going to do this. So in this uh, Mansell color chart, we have different hue um, values. As I mentioned before, we have red, yellow, and then in, in between colors like 10YR. And then in this column, we have the value we read from bottom to top. And then at the bottom, we have chroma values we read from left to right. And at the top of the paper, we have the hue value. We can select the page and then we can read the value from the right uh, from the left hand side from bottom to top and we can read the chroma at the bottom from left to right now we're going to measure the color of the soil now we're going to measure the color of the soil so first we determine um, the soil type um, the the hue value so we can use uh, the most appropriate hue uh, value for this and then we can bring the soil sample um, from bottom to top to determine the value and then from left to right to determine the chroma now in here we have decided that okay uh, in this hue the value 3 shows more similar colors now we need to determine the chroma it seems like 4 the chroma 4 is more uh, suitable for this color so now we have decided uh, that the notation could be 5yr 3 slash 4 so that means hue is 5yr that is the color and three is the um, darkness of the uh, color. So that is the value and the four is the chroma, which is the intensity of the color. And then now we know the notation of this soil and we need to know what is the color name. So what we can do now as we know the notation we can select the value from left hand side and the chroma from the bottom and then we can see um, the name of the soil it is dark reddish brown so we can write both the color name and the notation um, for a particular soil type 